Hi, welcome to the Geek Group. I'm Paul Kidwell. I'm Dan Eakin. And tonight we're here to do some design work on a project. What do we got, Dan? So, they've been working on this gantry system for the overhead camera on this set that we're sitting on now. Mm -hmm. And there's a bit of a problem with it. It's up there as a ways, it's kind of it's big. Um, and the idea is to give it a little bit of automation. Uh, so what we've done is we've taken our, our Arduino, our little friend, the Arduino, and we started with this guy here. Okay. This was kind of a, an 11 o'clock at night idea that uh, Batman and I had to hack a controller in order to give us some sort of input control over the system over our heads. Yes. And uh, the original idea was an Xbox controller, neither one of us wanted to spend the money on that. He happened to have this $5 Nintendo 64 controller sitting in a box at mm -hmm. home. And so we got online, I got on the phone with you. Yep, I did a Google search yeah. and Google. Uh, found a couple of things and found one in particular that looked very promising. Yep, we'll have a link for it. A guy on Instructables actually had all the code done. He took uh, another gentleman's code. Uh, his idea was to use a GameCube controller with his N64 because he liked the, the old school controller more than the new one. Right. So he wrote a code that allowed him to use the one controller on the new system. The next guy, the guy that we read his Instructable, upgraded that code so it could be used to interface with a computer and run gaming emulation and whatnot on the computer. We took that code and modified it just a little bit, and we made it so it run on the Arduino. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what's going on here in front of you right now, the only reason the USB is plugged in is because that's providing power for the circuit. All right. Uh, we could put a 9 volt on this, disconnect the computer completely, and it'd run all night long. Uh, so all the, all the processing, all the decision making is done on the Atmega chip on the Arduino. Okay. It's really quite simple. The, the Arduino provides power and ground for the controller and there's this single white wire that's the data line. That's hooked to pin 2 on our Arduino, the digital pin 2, at which point it's, uh, the code handles the, it's binary, it comes in a string of binary. And okay. what we do is we watch that. We, we take all that information, put it in a long string, and at the end of the code, we say, if this bit is on, do this thing. So, for instance, if the A bit is on, we get illumination okay. here. B bit, Z bit, and we have the analog stick has, like, when you used to play the Nintendo, you could, your character could walk or run because you have intensity, and you can see that, that light there. It goes from dim to bright. Mm -hmm. So we have... So the farther you push over, the brighter the light gets. Right. And that's going to resolve into how fast the motors turn, how fast the okay. carts move up over our heads. We've also incorporated this, where you actually have to hit and hold the C down button, and okay. you can move the stick, and you can see... These guys here actually indicate right. the direction the motor turns. So this indicates how fast, this indicates what direction. So these are going to be outputs that are going to go to our motor. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, it's going to go to the circuit that will go Drives to the motor. Drives the motor. Yeah, yes. the motor controller will take these outputs. And what's really neat is we'll be able to just take these LEDs off the board and run a wire to it or the, you, you have a chip. I have some optocouplers. Yep. Yes. So we'll be able to plug those right in in place of these and uh, that'll, that'll simplify the process of designing yes. that circuit quite a bit. Okay. So uh, that's that. We also have a, a spar sticking out on the end of our, yes. our gantry that this camera over here will be connected to. Now this thing's really neat because members will be able to sign on to the website and if they're a regular member they'll be able to watch what that camera sees. Okay. If they're, a, if they're a, an elite member, a paying, paying member, member, yep, they will actually be able to interface with this. And for right now, we can actually see that that is running. Oh, no, that's cool. Yeah, that's, that's running completely on the D-pad, the direction pad on mm -hmm. the N64 controller. So what will happen is those members will be able to get online. They'll, they'll go to a website. That website will send information to an Ethernet uh, shield for the Arduino. Okay. And then the Arduino will take the input from that and resolve it in the same way it resolves the input from the controller. So at this point, the camera guys can go ahead and put that camera back in a position that makes sense if it's, it's, right. if it's left out of, out of whack. In the future, we'll actually run a wire to the camera itself and be able to control zoom functions. And that'll actually be done with the bumpers up here. All so right. right now, these D-pads allow you to change where that's facing. So that code's already in place, that module's already running, and everything's real happy. Excellent. 
What's really neat about that is this was the controller for that to start with. And it's just a D-pad, just like the one we have on the controller, and they have a variable speed option here in the form of a slider. And what, what we did earlier, because we played with this a little earlier on, yes. is we cut the leads from this guy here. Yes. Uh, these guys right here, we just snipped those right off. And uh, I ripped <laughs> the D-pad off yeah. to expose the traces yep. so we could figure out what color wire did what. Mm -hmm. And then going through to that gray cable, they didn't use the same colors from one side of the connector to the other. So right. we had to do a little, little mapping, little detective work there to see right. what color was what. And the speed we wired into... It's, it's hardwired uh, in the form of this resistor right here. Yes. And that's just a, what is that, it's a 15? It's a 15K. Yeah. So that's, the speed is... Fixed. It's fixed. Yes. In the future, we, I suppose we could add a little potentiometer and allow, you know... I imagine. Hard, they have software yeah. potentiometers. I've used them. Oh, so. well, that would that'd be even better, because then the, the user could pick how fast they can pan and tilt with the camera. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, we could do something like that. Right. So we made a breakout board, connected it to the Arduino, and we were off to the races pretty fast. I, that part actually went real smooth. And so the next step is to pull these LEDs off and actually make design and make a circuit so that we can hook where the motors go. The motors are over here. Let's, let's see those motors real fast. I got, I believe these are out of Power Windows. Valio. I think those are made for GM actually. So they're, uh, they're a Valio. I don't know if we'll be able to see that in the camera. 404.395, 12 volt. What do you think? Made oh. in Germany. Made in Germany. Well, it's got to be good, right? Uh, one would hope. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, in the next video, we'll be taking these apart and uh, interfacing into them directly, getting rid of the electronics that are on them to start with, and we'll be direct driving the motor. There's a connection point back here that we'll be tying into. So, thank you for watching. Please remember to rate, donate, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.